The SG-10, segment and multi-purpose timer, can be programmed and controlled by the enclosed remote control. Press the on-off button on the segment timer, to turn the power on. Press the on-off button on the remote, to turn on or turn off the display. There are four mode buttons, on the second row of the remote. Press the count up down button, to go to the count down or count up mode. Press the scoreboard button, to go to the scoreboard mode. Press the clock button, to go to the clock display. Press the segment timer button, to go back to the segment timer mode. The volume level, can be set, by the triangle buttons, on the left of the remote. The light level, can also be set by the remote. Now we are going to program the segment timer mode. At default, the segment number is at 1 and 00 for the countdown time for this segment. Hold the set button on the remote in the segment timer mode until the two digits on the right begin to flash. The M on the display stands for setting up the minute. Let's set the first segment time for two minutes and the first break time for one minute, as a sample. Use the plus 10, plus 1, minus 10 in minus 1 buttons to set the setting of the countdown time in that segment. Those buttons are with red background on the remote. When you finish setting the first segment time, press the segment break time button, to set up the break time. The B on the display, stands for setting the break time. Also use the buttons with the red background to set the break time. After setting the first segment and break time, press the S plus button to go to segment 2. Press the segment break time button, to switch to segment time setting. Let's set 2 minute and 13 seconds, for the second segment time. As before, press the red background buttons, to set the minutes. Press minute second button, to switch to setting the seconds. Set the time with the red background button. Press the break segment button to go to the second break time setting. Let's set 10 seconds for the second break time. Finally, press set button to confirm the setting. Press the start stop button to start the first segment count. When the segment timer is counting down in minute, a gradually diminishing LED block is displayed next to SEG to show the progress of the countdown. When countdown reaches the last minute, time display changes automatically to second with an S shown next to SEG. The S on the display stands for the seconds. The timer will change automatically to second when counting down to the last minute. When the segment time countdown reaches zero, 
the break time countdown starts right away alone, with a two second long beeping sound. The B on the display stands for the break time. When the break time countdown reaches zero, the next segment time countdown starts right away alone with a short beeping sound. A long beeping sound indicates the segment time countdown reaches zero. The timer will stop when the program is finished. Press the reset button to reset the segment timer. Press the clear button to clear the program. The next mode we are going to demonstrate is the countdown mode. Press the count up down to go this mode and hold the set to set the count up time. The hour will flash. Using the plus 10, minus 10, plus 1 and minus 1 buttons to set the countdown hours. Press set to confirm. Again, using the plus 10, minus 10, plus 1 and minus 1 buttons to set the minutes. Press set to confirm the countdown time. Press the start stop button to start or stop countdown. At the end of the countdown, there will be two long beeps. Press the reset button to reset the countdown timer. Press the count up down button again to go to the count up mode. When it is in count up mode, press start stop will start the timer. Press start stop again to stop the timer. Press reset to reset the count up timer. The next mode is the scoreboard mode. Press the scoreboard button to go to the scoreboard mode. Use the S plus 10, S minus 10, S plus 1 and S minus 1 buttons to set the T1 scores. The buttons that control T1 are with blue background. Use the plus 10, minus 10, plus 1 and minus 1 buttons to set the T2 scores. The buttons that control T2 are with red background. The maximum score is 199. Press and hold CLR to rest all scores. The last mode is the clock mode. Press the clock button to go to the clock display. Press and hold set for 2 seconds to set hour by using the plus 10, plus 1, minus 10, and minus 1 buttons. When the hour is set, press set to set minutes. Press set button again to finish time setting.